center of your steering column, you happen to have two levers. The upper lever is actually a set for the foot throttle. We'll talk about that later. The lower lever would be used for your spark advance. This vehicle is equipped with a more modern ignition system. Don't even use the spark advance lever at all. It's not necessary, leave it alone. So first step, leave it alone. Next step, step on the clutch. The clutch is in a normal position in the Kissel. You're gonna step the clutch all the way down. Always good to make sure you're in neutral. You can see the shift is in neutral because it'll go side to side like that. So that's your neutral position. Up here, you've got your key. You're gonna turn your key horizontal and you'll actually see a drop on your ammeter. So I'll turn it back and you see a movement in the ammeter. We'll turn it back on, there's a drop in the ammeter. That tells me the ignition is active. Right here, this is the choke. The choke in the Kissel is not a normal choke. It's actually an air limiting system on the air intake, quite different from a normal choke. It's extremely, extremely powerful. Kissel's own information and from our own experience tells us don't use it more than a few seconds and over 70 degrees, I'd probably leave it alone and not use it. If you're under 70, this would be all the way out. Obviously anywhere in between is part way open. This is all the way off. We're over 70 degrees, about 76 today, so we are not gonna use the choke. Located directly below the choke right here is an added switch. This is a switch that is normally off. You actually have to pull it to go on and you may hear a click. Now I can hear the click. If you can't hear it, it does click because what this is doing is this is moving a relay and switching you from six volts to 12 volts. The starter in the vehicle has been rebuilt. There's double lock cables on it. All the connections have been checked, but it takes a lot to turn this engine. It turns very slow on six. So we do use this 12 to start it. So you actually have to hold this to start it. So when you're gonna go starting it, you're gonna hold that over to the passenger side. This is obviously your accelerator pedal I put my foot up against. The accelerator pedal to start this car one pump to the floor, let it go. This button next to the accelerator pedal, that's the starter button. So you're gonna have your ignition on, choke only if you're under 70 degrees. You're gonna one pump the gas as we did. You're gonna step on the starter button, but first always be sure you flip your momentary switch to the right. And it will start right up. Now the one thing you'll find is it'll almost always be even with just one pump of gas we've actually got a little too much gas in the engine when we start up if you're on choke you've got to shut the choke off within seconds or you're going to flood this car so if you flood it it's because you got the choke on or you've done more than one pump of gas well, let it run for a couple minutes normally once it runs for a couple minutes things tend to smooth out and it gets nice but basically what's happening is you almost always are giving it a little too much gas when you're starting it up. Immediately check your oil pressure. It's up here. You'll see how many pounds we're running. We're running about, oh, 20 pounds right now, which is good. When you start this cold, this will generate all the way up to the top of it. It will generate up to 50 pounds. It's not advisable to roar it when it's cold, let it warm up just a little bit. The other thing to keep in mind though, this car does not like to sit. When you open up the hood, you're gonna find out there's no shrouding, that's the way Kissel built it. It needs to move. So if you're gonna sit in hot weather, you really are gonna be tough on the car. You really wanna be driving the car. So shut it off if you're just gonna sit around with it for a while, as it's not beneficial for it to continue to run in that manner. 